Hey guys, welcome back to the Snap Ring Chronicles. We're coming back at you with another Ratchet video or Ratchet set video. Uh, this is the new, not so new, uh, Icon Locking Flex Head and Ratchet Bit set. Uh, set. It's, uh, I think it's about maybe a year old or a little bit less than a year old. It came out, but it's, uh, I guess it's relatively new. Uh, this is, I had an opportunity to pick this up. Uh, and I was kind of curious about this. I did see this in the stores and I wanted to check it out. So here we go. Uh, but before we jump into it, if you could do me a big favor and hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button and remember to give me the HBO special. HBO special stands for Hubble Brother Out. Hubble Brother Out special. Hubble Brother Out and hit the subscribe button. Okay. Uh, this set. It's, uh, I think it's RXFT-35, but on the back it has another item number, uh, 58074. This sells for $40 at Harbor Freight. Uh, is it worth $40? Uh, let me get into that in a minute. And this is made, the important question, designed by icon tools in the usa <laughs> i like i like how they do that they are uh, designed in the usa manufactured in taiwan made in taiwan so this is a taiwanese tool and it has a little sticker back here you cut and you're able to open it from the bottom and is there anything else we need to see on the box mm has a lifetime warranty uh, for you sticky finger people has an anti-theft alarm protection and it gives you all the bits and sizes and all the rest of that on the side has a wall uh, kind of a hanger type of uh, attachment on the top <coughs> okay uh, Let's check out what's inside. This uh, the the case is pretty thick and heavy duty. That's good. It has like this sliding uh, switch here that opens. You slide it and then you're able to open it. You see how the locking uh, channels there for the sliding mechanism. And this is what it is uh, when you open it up. It has uh, the ratchet and an extension and a three rows of bits and let's take out some of these bits and see what they have this is 5.5 this is four flathead and here is i guess the important uh attachment or bit this is the quarter inch attachment um this one has uh, it's held down you it's held to the case by this little rubber ring here is it rubber what kind of a plasticky rubber and it fits over the hole there and that kind of keeps how keeps it in place uh this is a flex and also a locking flex uh you press this button here down and you're able to flex it and then release it and it locks in whichever position it is there and there you can see the teeth uh, for the flex it's kind of strange on the teeth of the flex because i see it has kind of some cutouts here like here and over here kind of the tooth was kind of not so all flat across looks like it was smushed or something uh yeah these teeth here this tooth over here looks smushed and these teeth over here the sides here look kind of um smushed also so there you go and the button says push release so you push release and whichever position you release that's where it stays this is an extension and on the bottom here it also holds bits so 
on the bottom you can put some bits and it's magnetized it's a pretty strong magnet it feels like down there and this actually you can I think you can stick stick in like that and it kind of serves as like a t-bar to uh, add torque to whatever you're trying to drive there so kind of interesting little attachment there and also you can hook up uh, the bottom of the extension also and to make it a longer a longer ratchet for reaching uh, I guess hard to reach areas there and over here on the end it also has a magnetic uh, bit holder on the extension itself so I guess you can reach something reach something that's not so close and uh, I guess drive it out so uh, all right let's put all these bits aside that's what they look like that's how they're mounted in here not a bad job looks okay uh, and uh, we'll take this put this back in the set and we're gonna concentrate on the ratchet itself and see what makes it tick I'm gonna take it apart <clears throat> up here on this opposite here on this side there is a clip uh, just looks like it's a rectangular clip there's a white dot on this side and this side don't know why it's there uh, you guys that know let me know in the comments okay I'm gonna try to take out this clip let me see if I can take it out like this and kind of like grab one corner and then take the pick and put it underneath to uh, to coax it out and that's what the clip looks like looks like a staple almost there and then this just pushes out uh, try to be uh, be a little gentle because there are Paws and springs and all kinds of stuff in there. Okay, this is what the mechanism looks like inside with the paw still in it. This is the gear. Uh, not sure how many teeth are on this. Uh, let me see what the box says real quick. I don't see any reference to how many teeth this has on the box but I'm gonna guess it's like maybe 72 teeth on this the teeth are pretty small and it did come lubricated it looks like there was uh, some super lube uh, grease on the teeth so here's the gear and <clears throat> inside we see the pole and we just pry up a little bit and here is the pole the pole is tiny it's like uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen maybe like twelve or thirteen teeth on this pole uh there's some grease on it uh there's a tiny number eight like engraved on the front side and on the back it shows uh it shows nothing wait a second okay on the back it has d looks like db zero and one quarter am i seeing that correctly D yeah it looks like db zero and a quarter and inside it's kind of uh you have to go inside inside because uh it's kind of uh just 
laying in a trench in there so you have to kind of get in there and try to grab the plunger and it's a tiny plunger with a tiny uh, spring inside of it so it's kind of a hollow it's like a hollow plunger kind of with a flat top to it not that much round and here's the spring put that back in and it has grease on it so it like wants to stick to everything and here we just pull out the switch or coax it out and this is what the switch looks like uh, has some grease on it there's a hole on top and it's made of metal so I guess that's good this is what it looks like in the front there are no o-rings or any uh, any uh, dirt preventing measures like gaskets or anything in this ratchet so it is what it is and here we look you can see inside a little bit the the way they machined it it has a good amount of grease in there you can see like the chunks of grease in there and it looks pretty good uh it doesn't look too bad at all the broaching in there kind of interesting because uh i guess it wasn't just broached in i think it was broached from the side also because it has this piece here and you wouldn't be able to get uh from the top and broach all that stuff out if there's still a round piece here connecting so they'd have to get in there somehow and uh broach out that material from the side i'm assuming uh there is no screw here for the flex so i'm not going to attempt to uh take that apart this switch i don't see how it comes apart except that maybe you drive this pin out and then uh, you see the locking mechanism there it's probably connect it's probably uh it's put together from this side probably when you drive this pin out take this head off and it probably it all comes together with this locking mechanism probably release that and then maybe you'll be able to take this out i'm just guessing <laughs> but uh that seems feasible okay to put this back together take your little tiny switch drop that back in the hole take your small plunger and get that get that back in the hole maybe this maybe from this side would be better okay so yeah just get that back in there is it in? yeah okay take uh the pole and the pole goes in the pole goes in on when you're putting it in through the switch side here it goes in with this uh cavity facing out like that and this uh, little wall on the back that faces towards the back here so you take that like that and you kind of drop it on top of the plunger like that 
and now you take your gear and stick it back in like that see if it's ratcheting yeah it's ratcheting and you take your little clip your little paper clip there and you get that around and stretch it out and there you go make sure it's on good and there you go that's how you take this uh, this little tiny ratchet apart and bring back the set okay let's just a quick point about the uh, the price point on this oh, the tables like <laughs> all bumped around uh, do I think this is worth forty dollars me personally I'm gonna say no and that's just me this for some reason or I might be in the minority in that um, in that opinion because this has one of the highest um, review rates I've seen on Harbor Freight I think it was like five five out of five for like 800 uh, reviews I think this had so everybody seems to love this set uh, I think that this set is pretty good I think it's okay uh, seems cool I just don't think that this is worth $40 uh, maybe a better price for this would be like 20 25 dollars for this set uh, that's just that's just me as far as price it seems like uh, it's pretty well put together though decent quality but um, I don't know just that a little bit too expensive for my taste I bought this it was new but I, I paid uh, considerably less than forty dollars for this and if I had to pay forty dollars for this I don't think I would have done it that's just my two cents uh, and that comes from a cheapskate so there you go okay guys until next time